today is November the 4th, 2012. <clears throat> I've got a nice little amplifier in here I think you will uh, enjoy. I'll like to document it. It's called a twin triode tube preamplifier. It's called a Traveler 550. Quite a powerful little amp. It needed a little bit of uh, repair. A pot replaced here and a uh, speaker jack on the back replaced. It's got a 112AX7 in it. This is its power amp. Nice solid uh, power transformer. It's a bass amp. Hybrid bass guitar amp if that is focusing properly. I'm going to show you what it, uh, what kind of power this thing put out. It's pretty amazing. I got uh, both jacks into it back here. So I got eight parallel with eight. I got them into these uh, two eight ohm loads parallel. So I got four ohms. So we'll be running it into four ohms. And um, I've got it actually set up right now. I'm just going to turn up the gain here. This is what I'm going to operate to, to increase the gain, because I'm going to be running it at, a, at 100 hertz. And there's our frequency right there, 101 hertz. Uh, here's our voltage across 4 ohms, so it would be this number squared divided by 4. There's our THD. And there is what she looks like on an oscilloscope at 100 hertz. I'm going to crank it up. They're right there, right there is still very clean. 38.85 and 0.2 percent distortion. Wow, this thing's pretty amazing. Excuse me, 38.8, 38.8. Squared four divide that's 376 watts at point one five or so percent distortion. Wow, these things are powerful, aren't they? 370 376 watts, and it looks that clean at 100 hertz. Looks just as clean at a kilohertz. I'll turn it down. Let's put our let's go to a kilohertz. I know being a bass amp, we're not going to be doing too much kilohertz stuff. But we'll look at it anyway. There it is. Still nice and clean. That's when it's, when you start seeing the tops wiggle, that means we're, we're, we're maxing out the power supply. Below that, there we go. Same kind of, same kind of power. At, uh, less than a half percent distortion. If we drive it all the way up, let's go back to 100, 100 hertz. If we drive it all the way up to 10% uh, THD, which is usually where I uh, measure these types of amplifiers. We'll watch this guy up here and see what it actually goes up to. There's 8%. 9%. 8%. Percent. Well, that's about it. 42 volts. There's what it looks like. Still looks pretty good. So that's uh, just under 10%, 42 squared, divided by 4. Let's see what we get there. 42 squared, 4 divide, 441 watts. Wow. And that is with 120 volt input. Let me show you that. 119.1. It's close enough. I'm not going to fiddle with a the volt there. But uh, quite a nice amplifier. Wow, I bet that thing, uh, that thing can rock and roll with some bass. Very powerful little amp. The, uh, it hasn't heated up enough to turn the, the fan on yet. I've got a fan on it right here. I don't want to overheat it. No, it's actually doing quite well. Very nice amp. A Traveler 550. Bass amp. 440 watts RMS. Into 4 ohms.